Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration. Friday, June 28, 2024. Our reading today comes to us from Lamentations chapter 3, reading verse 22 to 23. And it says, It is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed, because His compassions fail not. They are new every morning, great is thy faithfulness. Amen. We thank God for his holy words. Now, the reading is clear this morning. God's mercy is everlasting. And they are new to us every single day, every single minute, every second, every hour. His mercy is available to us. Because when you think about the things that we do sometimes, when you think about how we live our lives, when you think about how many times we mess up, we disappoint God, and yet still, He still welcomes us. That can only be mercy. Mercy is beyond our comprehension. And the fact that we are sinners and we live in a sinful world, it is good that we have this mercy because if not for God's mercy, we will surely be destroyed. That's what the reading says. You know? Because what? When you read the commandment and when you read the word of God, it demands that we be punished for our crimes, for our sins. But then grace step in and say, no, I'm going to extend my mercies and my love. So I won't allow you to be destroyed, but I will give you a second chance. That's what mercy is. A second chance for you and I to make better choices. And so mercy and grace is not a green card given to us for us to continue in sin and to continue doing the things that we know are wrong. That's not what it is. It is given because God is trying to save us. And so he has forgiven us, wiped the slate clean, so that we can start over a new page. And because some of us not dropping like flies, when we mess up so often time, we feel like somehow God is soft or somehow God in can't do nothing or he doesn't care or whatever can't you see that is mercy you are being given and it is something that you and i must not take for granted we must understand that god he could have created a whole new set of human beings but he decided to stick with us for more reasons than one and he keeps expressing his love towards us and he keeps begging us literally begging us to surrender to him so that he can keep us safe and so that he can protect us and it's like every day we wake up it's like we we set our mind to be rebellious and disobedient and then we run and expect god to forgive us every time but i tell you this the reading says that his mercy is everlasting and that it is new every morning. Take that in context because one of these days his cup is going to be full and there's not going to be any mercy or any grace. You don't know when that time might be. And so that is why it is important for us not to take his mercies and this grace for granted. But the comforting thing about it all is that, as I said, we can be assured that each day we have that opportunity to confess our sins and that He will forgive us and that He will cleanse us and make us new. And so this morning I pray that whatever sin that you might have committed or thinking about committing, don't. And those sins you committed, just ask God to forgive you. Don't turn your back on His grace and His mercies. You and I need it more than you think. 
So may God continue to bless us and keep you. And may you continue to look to him who is the author and finisher of your faith. Amen.